Hi and welcome to a shock how-to video on smart sections. My name is Carl, as always, and let me warn you right from the start, do not build a website like the one I'm about to show you. I've just added all the section types to make it easier for you to see them in action and what they typically can be used for. I'm also going to rattle through these pretty quickly, so feel free to slow down the video or pause it. Let's crack on. At the moment, there are 11 smart section types in Shock. We refer to them as smart sections because they automate a lot of your design. You can add these in any order and add multiple smart sections of the same type. So starting at the top, we've got the hero section. This is all about grabbing the viewer's attention by displaying a great background image and placing the text appropriately so it balances well. You've got options to manipulate the image, the text, and add an action button to help your visitors explore the rest of your website. Next we have a smart section, now, obviously it's called a statement section. As you can see, it's super simple and it's all about a making a strong statement. Moving right along, we have a feature section. This is the first section where you might want to add multiple pieces of content or posts as we call them. This one has a single post and as you'd expect, it's designed to showcase one or two items without your customer having to dig further into your website except maybe to react by clicking on this buy now button. This is a section you might want to turn on and off depending on what's happening in your business. When you turn a section off, your website automatically adjusts. Now you've got a bit of an idea of sections, let me throw this at you. You can change any section to any other type of section and the content will automatically reformat. This means you might start with a feature section like this but then maybe turn it into a product section which shows more pricing and that sort of thing. Okay, let's get on to the next one. This is a catalog section and it's designed to be a launching pad for other pages on your website. In this case, I will soon have a page showing all my raw, raw coffee beans, another for ordering takeout and at least one for merchandise. So tapping on one of these, you'll see the settings are all about the image and then the action. They're really just big fancy looking buttons. Next on my site is a product section. I've decided to put my most popular items in, on the front page here and my customer just needs to tap on add to cart to get a quick order. This section is all about giving your customer everything they need to make an online purchase. Right, something a little more sedate. A testimonial section. You can see the design creates a simple way to read and see what people have said. This builds trust on your website if you've read any other blogs. You can add images, but I suggest you do it for all of them or none, just to keep the design looking great. These testimonial posts automatically scroll as you add more. Okay, just five to go. The about section looks simple and it is. It can be used to show a paragraph of text or maybe some icons representing your services. There's a lot of flexibility in the About section and just let me make this note that you don't have to use section types only for what they're described as. You can use them for anything. The next one, Product Portfolio, is specifically designed for those who want to showcase imagery. Maybe you have artwork or you're a photographer. There is no text and you can link through to any other page possibly describing your particular image. As you'd expect, Shock has a news or blog smart section. The design highlights the title and teases with a small bit of text. The section auto scrolls as you continue to add your witty repartee. The social smart section is similar to the portfolio section although it is expected when viewers click they will be sent to your social media posts. Finally we have badges section. This can be used in multiple ways. It could be highlighting the logos of your some, some of your more prestigious customers or maybe the certificates you hold. Images are automatically resized and by default turned to grayscale. This helps create a consistent look for your website. In other words, not letting someone else's logo dominate your site. 
So that's shock smart sections. If you want to test these, you can always duplicate one of your existing sections and then play and see how it looks and then maybe delete it afterwards or continue to use it. Smart sections are a great way to automate the design regardless of your web building ability. See you next time.